Hi, third grade, it's Mrs. Belatesh. I hope you had fun last week learning about the bones and playing that little racing game to see which team could put the skeleton together faster. I think that when you play a game, it makes learning more fun, so I hope you had fun doing that. So one of the things we're gonna do today is we're gonna make a skeleton in another way, and I want to see if you can figure out what is the point of today's lesson. Okay, so I have like a little stick figure skeleton guy. There's the face. I'm not very good at art, but I do the best I can. And I have these straws for the other parts of the skeleton. So I'm just wondering how this skeleton is going to move. Can this skeleton bend its arms? Can this skeleton bend its legs? Do you see that there seems to be something missing on this skeleton? Well, if you said joints, ding, 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 you are correct. This skeleton cannot really move because there are no joints in the arms or legs. So let's see how we could make a skeleton that can move and bend because it has joints. The first thing I wanna talk about is this amazing bunch of bones up our back, our vertebrae. And one of the reasons that I can arch my back or I can curve over is because it's not one big bone, it's lots of little bones. So I'm gonna take one of my straws. You guys are all going to get five straws. I'm gonna take one of these straws and I'm going to cut it into little pieces. And I'm gonna cut it into about 15 pieces. I'm gonna take a pair of scissors and I'm gonna cut my straw into little pieces. It doesn't have to be exactly 15, just cut it into several pieces. When you were born, you had 33 vertebrae in your back. Now, I'm an adult, I have about 24 because some of them fused together. Now I have all these little pieces of straw and I'm going to put them on a pipe cleaner. Okay, it's hard to see the straw because my straw is transparent but when you can see it when I'm bending, right? So one of the reasons we're able to bend our back is because our vertebrae, our backbone, is not one bone. It's lots of little bones and where they meet, it is called a joint. So now I've got my backbone, my vertebrae. And now let's take a look at our arms. Okay, so we have a joint here where our arm, upper arm, our humerus meets our shoulder blade, right? And then we have our elbow and we have a joint at our hand. So we have one joint, which is where it's my pipe, my straw is gonna re go connect to my backbone. And then I have one two more joints. I'm not going to do my phalanges. That's too many little pieces. And now I'm going to connect it to my vertebrae. Here's one arm. So here's my vertebrae. Here's one arm. I've got my vertebrae and then I've connected the arm to my pipe cleaner, my main, main pipe cleaner. This is my elbow. This is the wrist. And I made just a little ball at the end to keep the pipe cleaner on. That's gonna be the hand. Okay, now I'm gonna add the other arm. Okay, I've got my vertebrae and I've got my arms, my shoulder joint, my elbow joint, my wrist joint. Now I'm going to add the legs. I'm not gonna add the ribs. We're just gonna stick with the main vertebrae, the arms and the legs. In terms of the legs, we've got our hips, right? That's where your hips, your upper leg joins your pelvis, and you've got your upper leg and your lower leg and your knee joint. And here are the legs attached to the vertebrae. I've got the hip joint, 
the knee joint, and down here is the ankle, right? And now my pipe cleaner straw person is all done. And look how excited they are. They're so happy to be built. And the great thing is that because they have joints, they can wave to you and they can say hip hip hooray. <laughs> the key point is joints allow us to move. We need bones, we need a skeletal system as a framework for us to stand up. But if we didn't have joints, we'd just be stiff. We wouldn't be able to move. Because we have joints, we can move. Third graders, you've done an amazing job this year. I really am amazed at how much you were able to do this year on Zoom, on video, and now back in the classroom. I love you guys. Stay safe. Have a great summer. Bye.